My name is Joe Vanders. Welcome back to the Valheim Building World. Today, I'm going to be turning this towel into a mega towel because I'm pretty sure you can build off of this because it's a structural. So you can be able to get a really tall tower now with the new update that's recently come out. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of all this ugly outside stuff and then I'm also going to go throughout the entire tower removing the, the traps and all the, the goblins. The disgusting little goblins. A little longer than a few minutes later. Well, I've deleted, deleted. I've, I've destroyed everything that I can on the tower, and I killed all the enemies, including the boss. You cannot destroy these little patches right here, which is a little disappointing because I'd rather them be gone because it kind of looks not good. Disappointed! But I got a whole bunch of junk, and now I'm gonna do what everybody should do with junk, and toss all your junk into the ocean. Bill and I said that the, the planet's on fire. What I'm saying is the planet's on f***ing fire. So if you put all the stuff inside the ocean, that means it should fill, raise the water levels to, be, to put out all the fires. I also found out that you can't put down any building materials in the middle of the towel. But on the sides of the tower, you can. Now I'm going to build out all of the iron framework for the outside, as well as going up super tall. 20 minutes later. Well, I made the base for the, the framing, and I made it come out five iron beams. It's because of because of this, where they intersected. It looked like they intersected pretty well right here when you put... So how to come out in between here, because you kind of see like a little line on each of these right here. And so I tried to do my best to put it in the middle, and I went with this one right here for the snapping of everything. And because of that, if you go over, it, lose, it gains more distance away around the towel, and then it comes back around into this one right here. Well, this one's actually touching the towel. But I wanted all the outside to be snapped together so that everything on the outside looks right and proper. I also dug down a little bit, trying to get some uh this to snap right but then i realized how to fit how to use the new snapping tools and i didn't have to mine at all for the, all the other ones this new snapping tools are actually pretty cool two hours later i have now built up all of the iron beams that goes up all the way i did test out some stone to see how far it would start breaking though i don't know how fully accurate it was because it was just sitting like right here with nothing below it so it went up to two blocks above, I didn't want the iron to be showing above it, but that's as far as it's going to go, and it's too bad I won't be able to put any anything on the inside of you, but that's just how it is. Now it's time to add in all the walls around everything. One hour later. So in the middle of doing the walls, I decided to put down some iron grates instead, and work on the floors first instead of the walls, simply because I didn't want to go up through all of the walls passing through them and all whatnot while I'm putting down the flooring. I don't want to have to deal with all the walls being in the way when I'm putting up the floors. So I'm gonna work on the floors next and put in some stairs. And there was some spots like here that has a hole in it for the iron. I'm gonna figure this out when I put in all the flooring so I can put in stairs how I want them to be not just like open how it is now. It's the same thing with this balcony over here as well. Well, now I'm gonna put down a whole bunch of floors. Two hours later. As you can see now, I got all the stones, uh, what's it called, flooring up out everywhere. And on this level, I also got stairs going down into here for both these sides. And I also got a spiral set of stairs going around the entire build that I, I quite like how, how it looks now. I, I put up some some stone right here so that these arches could be able to be here without any of them breaking. I, not, I didn't put up stone, I put up iron beams right here so that the arches don't break. And I, I like how it looks too, it looks good. And doing all the stairs, it took a while to figure out what exactly I wanted it to look like. And then it also doing that also took a while to do because like to do it, you had to switch between doing the iron beams, the stairs, the blocks, and the arches, all, all at the a whole bunch of like, you would put down some arches, you have to put down the stone block, and then you put down the stairs, and then you put down the iron beams, you have to switch between all of them, and that just took a while. And now with all the floors done, I can now continue on to the walls. Hopefully they don't take too long. The next day, it's taking me about six hours, but I finally completed all of the walls of the build. 
with all the details on, not all the details, but like the stone details all on the outside. I haven't placed out any banners yet, but that's going to be part of the next next section. I made sure to have spots that jut out from the wall a little bit, so it gives it depth as well as windows and doors for like balconies. And there was like a mega balcony all the way around up here, so that you could come outside and, you know, look outside. It's the same type of design underneath of these, of this big round balcony as these ones down here. And I know I wanted at least one section that didn't have any doors or windows going to the outside, so that's like this part right here. And because of that, and these right here, with the balconies does not have any, any stuff over here, I got these nice little protrusions coming out. There's, there's some steel inside of them to make sure that they are stable and stay up. And I quite like how those look as well. And if you can see right here, there's a gap. There's a gaps everywhere where you can see the wood. All the wood, there, it covers up the gaps. I was going to originally have like the triangles come out and cover all of that up. However, it was covering up the side, like if you looked at these windows from right here, it would literally cover up this much all the way to the left. All of that would be covered up, and if you moved over more, it would cover up more, which I didn't like at all. So I decided to use the wood instead. And the peaks on the big, the top tower over here, they go up as far as I possibly can. So it's that if I built it up one bit higher, it would break. And I'm kind of, I'm, I'm glad that it didn't break where it is right now. I was kind of expecting it to, but it didn't. I also had it protrude out a little bit to give it some depth. And as you walk into you, you can see, I also made it come in a little bit. So like, there's another layer of stone on the inside as well. And I was going to fill in all of these in here with the uh, the one by one blocks, but I decided it looks way better without it, with having a little bit of depth added in. Kind of reminds me of those Skyrim catacombs or dungeons. And this is how the tower looks from the ground. I quite like how it looks. I'm quite pleased with how this is turning out. However, it is taking a while. And now it's time to do all the inside details. Three hours later. I've now finished this build. I've put all all the details. As you can see, there's a handful of banners on the outside. That's not, not everything I did. I did I did much more on the inside. So the first room you open up into, you, you have Christmas, the, the first thing you see. And then there was this is like the uh, the eating area. So you go over here to your left. You got your kitchen with all your kitchen necessities and needs, with chests as well, lining it up so you can have a whole bunch of stuff being inside chests. And on the outside, there's six long tables because they can actually fit in here. But there's nothing out here because this person who owns this tower doesn't have a whole lot of company. At least right at the moment. It's just because I didn't want to spend two hours putting stuff down on tables. Going up into the next level, you have the uh, the crafting station area, where you have literally every single crafting station plus the portal. This is where the portal lives for this entire tower. You got normal crafting, you got your forge. Oh, I'm missing a few. Shh, don't tell anybody. Liar! You got your smelters, you got your your black forge, and then you also got your. Uh, Goldo table, that's what it says. I got some wisps fountains right around here as well. And this black box right here, this is uh this contains the elytra refinery, so you could be able to do all your elytras and stuff in here. And there's a whole bunch of if you know how how this works, you should realize the reason why I have it all in the box. Because if not, if you have it active, it's gonna start breaking stuff around if it's not granite. Or a black marble. Same thing pretty much. And then on the next level up. You have, this is, this is like the living section area, so you got the, the one big bedroom and the open area out here, where you got your, your barber station where you can do all your barbering. And then you also have a negotiations table, there's banners on the backs of each of these chairs, with the blue clan, who, the person who owns this, who's like the, the head negotiator, because they're like neutral with everybody. I, I, I suppose. I also put maid tower poles in here just so that you can have like the extra yes bonus. And this is what the bedroom looks like so far. And you go over here you got your your bathtub with a nice good amount of privacy so you could be able to do all your hanky panky in here without anybody seeing. <laughs> yeah boy. As long as the door is open nobody's gonna hear you. You got his throne that he just tends to casually sit in and all of his gold next to it and the a bed, you got like a table here, like a basic table. 
I actually used four separate stone stone marble tables for this. This guy's got all of his armors over here, and he also has some trophies sitting up above his bed. Those are like, these are actually the, the three new bosses of the game. And then then he has this table over here. This is like where everybody sits down and plays like a board game. And going up into the next area, you have a whole bunch of uh, what's it called, traps and whatnot. Because this is the area, the level that has the entrance into the tower, and I would assume... I also didn't really care about, like, the stuff being placed inside of the tower, so I didn't really care about how it looks. Because I was more concerned about everything on the outside and how that looks. And there's traps everywhere, though, just so that if goblins come out, they get hurt. Instead of coming over here and destroying down these walls. And going up onto the next level, this is like the armory area. So you got a whole bunch of arbalists in the middle with a whole bunch of chests. And then on the outside, you got your porcupine, your crom, your mistwaku. And then on the, you also have frostnoos in here as well. So like you got frostnoos and porcupines. And you got all, all the arbalists up here so that if there's like an, a, an invading force, the soldiers can just jump out wherever they are and then shoot like the invading people while floating down. Then going up to the top layer, there is no more small details up here at all. It's just what I've already shown you before. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I would appreciate it if you gave me a like and comment. Simply because I spent 14 and a half hours building this. this that's without editing. It'd be fantastic if you gave me a sub sandwich. And I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.